what if I fail? I have asked myself that question so many times in my life. For me, the fear of failure and rejection are intertwined. I can vividly remember the shame that I felt every time that I have failed, and it makes my stomach hurt to this day. I always felt like if I failed, I would be rejected, and if I was rejected, it meant that I had failed at something. My most recent struggle with fear of failure comes from being afraid to fail as a mother. I won't lie, this fear of failing as a mom is crippling at times. There are times that I avoid hanging out with other parents because I'm afraid that they will confirm my fears. There are nights that I lay awake um, thinking of situations that may arise one day but probably won't. And I try to figure out how I would respond to those things. Like maybe if I'm prepared, I won't fail. But then I remember a verse that helps me to put my faith over fear. Colossians 3, 17 says, And whatever you do in word or deed, do everything in the name of the Lord Jesus, giving thanks to the God the Father through him. Whenever I'm struggling with the fear of failure, I remember that if I do whatever it is prayerfully and for God's glory, it will work out. Knowing this, why should I be afraid to fail if I am making every single choice in my life, big and small, to glorify him? Can't he take even my failures and use them for something that's truly amazing? I believe that he can. I want to leave you with some hope, but I think it would be dishonest to say something like, don't be afraid to fail because if you have faith, you'll never fail. That's just not true. Instead, I want to share a few times that I have failed and then how God used those failures for his glory. So things that I failed at. Number one. Um, I failed at getting my driver's license on my 16th birthday. <laughs> I was so nervous about my driver's test that I pulled out in front of a car and immediately failed the test. After lots of tears, I took the test again a month later and passed. I may never really know all the ways that God used that test for his glory, but I do know that um, he used it to strengthen me and make me a little less afraid of shame because at age 16, not much more is more embarrassing than failing your driver's test. The second one is that I failed at PE when I was in college my freshman year, and that's a pretty hard class to fail. Um, I graduated high school with a 4.125 but when I got to college, I experienced a major depressive episode during my freshman year, and it became a struggle to focus on anything or really just to get out of bed most days. I lost my academic scholarships that year. After receiving some help, I was able to bring my GPA right back up and get my scholarships back my sophomore year. It was really hard work, but with God's help, you know, we can do it. A few years later, I graduated with my master's degree and a 4.0 in the field of counseling. One way that God used this failure for his glory was to instill in me the desire to help people who are suffering emotionally. This experience was a large part of why I wanted to pursue a career in helping people. It also helped me as a teacher and parent because I learned to look for signs of mental and emotional pain in my students and kids that I might have missed before. I never thought I would say this, but I'm so thankful that God let me go through that difficult time because that experience helps me to connect and empathize with people who are going through a difficult season. I could go on and on about the times that I've failed, but the point is that the more I fail at things, the easier it becomes to try. <laughs> Once you see that while it hurts to fail, sometimes excruciatingly so, the world doesn't crumble and it becomes easier to overcome the fear. As long as you're prayerfully making choices to glorify God, he will make some good come out of those choices, even if they aren't marked by what the world would call success. I'm still afraid of failure, but I don't wanna miss out on seeing how God can use even my failures for his glory.